In order to make a play like this successful, it takes a variety of personalities. So I have students that are extroverts, introverts, people you would never ever think would be in a show. Like you. You're looking for a little boy. Junior! Introducing the new and improved Fantastical, scientifical, child-making machine. You make children? No, oh, not just any children. No, perfect children. Well, son, when I was about your size, my father taught me a little song that only he and I knew. Pinocchio Jr. is written in a really special way because it is written from a perspective of teaching a parent something and not just teaching the child. You ask. The world's greatest team, Geppetto. Now you say. We watch Geppetto's journey, and he takes many turns through this journey to find out that we really need to allow our children to pursue what they want to pursue and not have dreams on behalf. Triumph together in foul or fair weather. What are you doing here? The blue fairy brought me good news to Pedro. Since you didn't want Pinocchio, and Stromboli does, I have granted two wishes at once. See, the puppet is mine. Daddy! Don't worry, Pinocchio. I think we can all learn something from this show, whether it be a child that comes to enjoy the show just for pure entertainment, or a parent that comes realizing, oh wow, there's a message here for us. The way this show is written, there's a message for everyone. I'm not your friend. Just because it's magic. Just because it's magic. Just, Just because, because it's magic. magic. Doesn't mean you know the end. Come on, girls. No task too tough for extreme for Geppetto. And son. Exactly.